Right, this um, for those of you who follow our YouTube channel, you may well recognise um, one of our stars, <laughs> and Jasmine sitting next to me at the moment. It's um, six and a half weeks, I think, since you passed your test and sailed through it without any problem <laughs> at all. So I thought we'd just like to have a, a, a video for people to look at if they want to, just finding out about how you felt about the test leading up to it, how you it went, probably in a bit of a flash, and, and sort of what you've been doing since then as well. So, test day itself, can you remember how you were feeling about that and how it all went? Um, I remember I was feeling really nervous about it, but then we went for like a drive before and we did some of the test routes. We did like one of the test routes that we hadn't done that I wasn't feeling quite as confident on, and then after that I felt pretty okay about it. Oh, so it was, we actually did that on the way to the test, didn't yeah. we? Oh right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My memory is bad enough for yesterday, let alone there. Oh right, because we we did a lot of stuff, didn't we? A few weeks before. Yeah. I think we did Countess Weir from every direction apart <laughs> from upside down. Yeah. <laughs> and then you made a monumental. <laughs> cock up off it a day later when yeah. you didn't recognise it. There's no one on it and it looks very different when yeah. you're the only car yeah. on it. <laughs> so the, the the drive before the test itself actually helped yeah. settle the nerves. Because you, you never struck me as somebody who suffered from nerves when we were actually driving at all. Maybe you did on your first lesson or so, but... No, I never felt like nervous about being like behind the wheel and like I just sometimes felt like nervous before like before the test, before I got in the car and stuff. So the day of the test, um, when whoever the examiner was, and I've for the life of me can't remember who it was. Um I remember he was a nice man. He said he used to teach. Ah, right, yes. <laughs> I won't mention any names but any any instructor who knows yes, yes, he is very nice. Yeah. Um, so he came out, called your name, and yeah. in these COVID days you just have to point your licence at him, um, and then he got you to sign a little bit of paper, didn't he? Yeah. Was just to say that, um, what does it say, that the car's insured, Yeah. and that you've lived here for at least six out of the last 12 months. Yeah. And then you got... The eyesight test. Yep. The reading of light. And a tell me question. Yeah. Can you remember which one you got? <laughs> I can't remember what he asked, but I remember the answer was that the light shows up on the. Oh, that must have been the ABS anti yeah. anti lock braking system. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, because that, that's the. Uh, <laughs> oh, to be careful there. That's the only one that actually the answer is that the light stays on on there. Okay, and then off you went. Yeah. You, I bet you can't remember where you went either. I remember we went on lots of lanes, because we went up that... Um, you went down Days Pottles Lane, the little narrow one where the alpaca is, into it, down to Exeter, instead of the stop junction at the end of it. Maybe, and then there, that road... No, I, and I went through where we went through like every lesson where that campfire set on fire. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Came forward. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. Yes, you went down day spot because I remember because you you didn't get many faults at all, did you? No. Hardly any, but one of them was down the country lane. Yeah. Where he just talked about. You were just possibly a little bit fast yeah. in some places, and that you were lucky nothing came the other way. Yeah. So you must have seen because you you were one of the very few people who's ever remarked to me at going down the end of that road that you've seen the warning about the stop sign. <laughs> beforehand <laughs> virtually nobody sees that and I was quite surprised that whatever lesson it was before that that you actually saw that, that was, was going pretty confident that you would have stopped there anyway <laughs> um, 
and you must have got a show me question at some point while you were driving. I can't remember can't what it is, but <laughs> I remember coming back straight afterwards and telling mum that I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> Most people can't even remember where they went, so you've done pretty well with that. And the test itself? Um, obviously it's scary, but once you're there and is like having practiced the test routes and sort of like doing practice tests and sort of knowing what to expect it's not as scary as you think it's going to be you just need to drive the same way that you've been driving in all the lessons and make sure you don't like make any stupid mistakes and just do everything that you've been doing correctly yeah well it's great to hear that from you because i say that to people <laughs> much better coming from you and it felt it went on forever or in the blink of an eye really really quickly because <laughs> i i knew we were coming back because i knew where we were and i was starting to panic because i was like oh this doesn't feel like it's been going for very long and then we got into the car park and he asked me to do a reverse bay park and oh. i kind of relaxed a bit well yes yeah, so now i remember that because because that's to me as an instructor it's the sign that you or as long as you don't mess up that reverse park you have passed mm -hmm. because if you've done something that would have caused you to fail with the way things are with covid um they bring you back and they won't do the reverse maneuver if you haven't done it already they just get you to drive in forwards so anybody who comes back and drives in forwards if they've been out for 35 40 minutes you're pretty sure that they're okay yeah, I remember your bay park. I parked right next to someone else and had to readjust a bit and go back in. Yes, and how many empty bays were there beyond that park car? Not, so I couldn't see them very well. Yes, I, I, and yeah, the examiner did make a comment about why did you choose that one? I don't know. And, and then the wait while he's fiddling around with his iPad to tell you what the result is. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously everything went well. Yeah. And the first time pass, which I never ever doubted with you. <laughs> yeah, there's been some terrific learners this year, and you've been certainly right up there with them. So, yeah, well done with that. Thank you. And then I suppose it was get in touch with the insurance company, yeah. tell them you've passed. Yeah. They very kindly take more money off you. Yep. <laughs> And when did you go for your first drive on your own? I passed on a Tuesday and then on Wednesday I drove myself to training. To Taunton? No, I was in Honiton that day. Oh, <laughs> right. <Taunton. laughs> no. Yeah, that's, that, that's, yeah. that's a sensible drive because obviously somewhere that you know yeah, where yeah. you're going as well. Yeah. And since then, you've been driving here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And to Taunton. Yeah. Right. And you're going on the motorway. Sometimes I go in the motorway, and then sometimes I go the Honiton way. And oh, right. Whatever I'm feeling. <laughs> right. So if you're feeling brave, you go the Honiton way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Um, and you've been a taxi service for family and friends. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and just to finish off the um the preparation you had um I'll pay you later for how well you, you described this <laughs> or not <laughs> the the actual right through from theory test to feeling that you were ready for your yeah. driving test is, is there anything that you feel you want to say about that don't feel obliged that you've got to be gushing about anything no <laughs> definitely I always felt like I was like ready for the next step like when I did my theory test I felt like the preparation I had I wasn't like worried about it I obviously I was a bit nervous but I felt like I was prepared enough to do it and even for the test I knew that I'd done all the I knew I'd done everything yeah. I had to do and I'd done everything I could have done I just needed to make sure that I'd stayed calm and didn't panic and that I knew that I, you and everyone, even like just going out practicing and all the lessons we had, I'd done what I needed to do pre to prepare. Yeah. Uh, and you did, did you do a mock test with Christy or with me? Yeah, I did. Uh, I did one with both of you. 
All oh, right. <laughs> well, it's always useful when we can to get a second opinion. Yeah. Because um, Christy, I think, was probably a little bit stricter with you. Yeah. Because I remember we, um, it was big Sandy Gate roundabout, and I stopped behind the line because the yellow box was full, and right. you guys discussed about it. Oh right. What well, about whether? You, so whether you should have stopped behind the line, Mine or whether you started, you start creeping forwards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did she, did she give you a driving fault for that? I don't know, but right. I got a, I got a major one for going too fast in the twenty. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to admit to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good to do it then, and not yeah. the real thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully that sort of gives people a bit of an insight as to w what everything's like w with us and anybody uh, trains with us. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much and you. well done and good luck with all the, the future driving. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>